little fun. My name is Nick, and I'm here at the Midwest Regional in Chicago with Team 16 Bomb Squad. Their season's already off to an incredible start, winning excellence in engineering and serving as the winning captain down at the Arkansas Regional. They have an incredible unique amp flipper and custom gearbox on their shooter mechanism. Stick around to learn all more about this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Now we're going over to Josh to talk about their mechanical system. Take it away, Josh. Hi, I'm gonna start by talking about our intake. We have an uh, intake that's made with Lexan tubing. We covered it with a uh, large surgical tubing. That gives us enough grip. And it immediately grabs it, we'll suck it in. And we'll take it from here and we can take it to the amp shot. Our amp mechanism is two linear actuators, which is brought up. We have a flapper run by a Kraken. So that helps us keep the note inside the amp. That's very cool. And one thing I'm curious is how you come up with the flapper design. I genuinely don't think I've seen anybody else doing anything like it at this point. Originally, it was meant to be as a trap mechanism, but after we found out that it was easiest to score in the amp with our intake, and we knew that this needed to be on to score to make sure that it stayed in, so we left it on there, and it has just worked perfectly. Very cool. Now we're headed over to Malachi to talk about their electrical and sensor systems. Hello. Um, on our robot, we have all of our motors are Krakens on our robot. We have 17, and we have three proximity sensors and one limelight on our robot. Our proc sensors are on, we have one on our intake and two on our shooter. Our shooter one, our intake one, helps the driver know if there's a note in the robot from across the field. And the shooter one helps also the driver and the operator to know if the note is ready to be fired. Very interesting. I guess what I think I ask is like, how you end up going with proximity sensors? I know there's other sensing options out there like beam brakes and stuff. So what ultimately led you to this specific setup? Our biggest reason is actually our LEDs. In the past years, we've used our proc sensors to communicate over serial to our LEDs so we could use our LEDs to also communicate to our driver. Our limelight on our shoe does an auto aim, so we could go ahead and show that for you guys. As you can see, once they press a button, the limelight on our shooter will auto aim to the April tag. And what the wheels are doing is that as it goes down, the speed on the wheels will go farther. And as it goes up, as the angle increases, the speed starts drawing back. That's very interesting. Uh, now we're headed over to Emma to talk about their LED system and how they use all these systems that we've already talked about to communicate with their drivers. Okay, so like you were saying, um, the sensors will let us know where the part is at in the robot. So um, once the part is picked up, our matrix up here will do a, a pattern in white and then the strips down here will match it. So I'll, I'll display that now. So as you can see, the white is there. And then as soon as the um, intake is all the way back and in the feeder position, the LEDs turn to this pink color. And that is so that the operator knows when they're good to feed the part. And don't they don't know, like, they don't have to wait to know when to do it. And then once the part is fed into the shooter, the LEDs turn orange, um, further indicating to the drive team where the part is at. So in, at the end of the match, um, we have an end game timer, which it should be playing in a few seconds. It goes based off of whenever we enable, but it will uh, display on the matrix, starting with green and go down yellow and then down red again. And it takes 10 seconds for each color. That way, there you can see it now. That way the drive team um, knows how much time is left in the match and are prepared to know when they need to go climb and that sort of thing. So it's a, a helpful feedback. That way we don't have to take our eyes off the robot. We know the timing for everything. That's very cool. Well, Bomb Squad, I wish you the best. I know you've already had a very successful season and I hope that continues. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.
Support Fund's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.